Mm. Good morning, guys. Yeah, I haven't even gotten up yet. I haven't gotten up yet. Um, I usually let myself sleep in a little bit on Sundays. It's like a little treat to myself. And I slept about 7.15 around there, which isn't late for some people. For me, it's late because I'm usually up and working out. Like I'm usually halfway through a workout by the time it's 7.15. So I usually like to give my body a rest like this, you know, once a week because I can't do rest days right now obviously doing 75 hard um but I'm up it's almost 9 it's almost 9 a.m. Oh my god it's almost 9 I'm a lazy ass I'm lazy I'm lazy holy shit um yeah so we will get some coffee I need coffee it's probably gonna be really chilly in the apartment, so I gotta put on a hoodie. Um, I left the windows open last night because it was so nice and cool. I went for my walk last night, and I got back. Usually, I'm sweating. Usually, I'm just dripping sweat. And I got back last night, and I was barely breaking a sweat. And I was like, all right, it's that cool out. It was like 50-something. And so um, I just opened all the windows. Like, you know what? We're gonna air out the apartment. Literally let it breathe. And just honestly, our apartment gets so hot and stifling. My roommate and I both have our ACs in and like he'll leave his door open and crank his AC up really high. I've done the same thing and it's just, it barely makes a difference. So we keep the fan running. The fan's been running, I think, I don't think it's stopped since I moved in. It's over two months ago. <laughs> and I, um, we always have at least the two bigger windows open and we have two windows, one on either side of our door. So we, I'll leave those open. I left those open last night because, well, it was nice and cool and we have a deadbolt so I locked that door up tight as a drum all right coffee time I am nice and cozy oh yeah you can feel it immediate it's chilly but it feels so nice especially the fan just circulating the air it feels so good it feels so good <laughs> camera had to charge. Ah! My camera had to charge. I was filming earlier and realized, oh my god, it's at red. It's going to die on me. So I took that opportunity to like just upload the footage. Coffee. This is my second cup. Water. Everyone at First Swarm that I am on Instagram with, don't put your powder until you cool down the coffee a little because you have that chalky taste and I'm afraid of getting that chalky taste. But I'm obsessed with this, so it's worth it. Yeah, no sweetener again. Much better. Honestly, much better. I'm waiting for groceries to be delivered. I had to get more chicken. So I got a ton of chicken. I got more veggies. I got like, you know, eggs, things like that. I haven't hit my macros so well lately. I need my phone. Because I need to keep track of. I need to keep track of where my shopper is because okay okay that happens yeah he's still shopping six items so 
It's gonna be a minute. I think I'm just gonna chill out here for a little bit. I'm gonna get cozy here. Ugh. Oh my God, okay. When the roommate moves the table and the rug does not want to cooperate. I just saw on Instagram that um, it's my sister and her boyfriend's one year anniversary. So happy anniversary to my sister and her boyfriend. Um, it's crazy, it's been a year. I remember when I first met him and I was like, he seems okay, you know, but he's really a, a good guy, good good kid. He's got a good head on his shoulders. So, well, I could find that in my age bracket, you know? The other day in 75 Log, I talked about how I've been kind of like up and down, like, you know, how am I living my life? and and part of that is the whole, you know, being single thing. And it's been like, do I want a relationship or am I good running the ship by myself right now? And I've, I've just been back and forth. And I think because I've been single for so long, I've been single for almost three years. And so because of that, I think that I'm just, I'm just not sure. I, I'm not 100% if I really want a relationship because I'm so used to being single. I'm so used to being alone. I'm used to sleeping in my bed by myself. I'm used to, you know, spending a Saturday night either working or just home alone, not doing much. So I, I think it's partial fear, and I think it's also just the inability of you know to trust someone implicitly. Um, I know I sound like a cliche. I sound like almost everybody out there that's had a huge heartbreak. But my last relationship did not end in the best way. Um, I mean, it could have been a lot worse, but. It was just complete disrespect and um, just zero integrity and honestly, both our parts. I should because in hindsight, I really should have left the relationship a lot sooner. But I, you know, when I when I love someone, I love heart. So that's the other thing is I'm afraid of opening my heart up again to someone, knowing full well that once I open up like that, they could easily rip my heart out and it is a process for sure um i don't know i don't know where i'm at right now with that but there's been a lot of reflection the last few days and uh at one point i even had a date set up this past week and i ended up canceling because i was like i need to reevaluate i need to take a minute here and take a beat step back and just figure out do i really want to date someone you know especially who is long distance so we wouldn't see each other that often so it's like, do I want to do long distance? Do I, you know, want to bother? It just, it, yeah, it's a lot. I would never say no to it, but you do need to be extra careful. I don't remember ordering more of this, but Wow, he really filled the bag. Woo! You check the eggs, right? Every time I get Instacart grocery delivery, I am like, there's my receipt. Every time I get Instacart grocery delivery, I always worry if I order eggs, I always worry that they're gonna be broken when I open the, the package. Got more pretzel chips. I got popcorn. It works in my macros. I can have popcorn. I think I'll do a movie night tonight. This is usually what I order. Um, usually like kind of the staple items are like obviously eggs, chicken. I'm gonna put these in the crock pot. Um, at least like even half of them because you do kind of open up a little bit. And then I needed more baggies for like fruit and crackers and whatnot. Like Greek yogurt, so anyway, protein yogurt pretty much every night. Last night I couldn't have any. That was very sad. And then I've gotten, really gotten to their toasted coconut of the almond milk blend. Oh my God. I also sometimes use coconut cream and almond milk, but I'm finding this as a good substitute. <laughs> it's 45 calories, not very, I think there's, I don't even think there's any carbs in this. One carb, one gram of protein, two, four grams of fat total. So my macros are pretty safe with this. So I could have like two or three cups of coffee and be okay. I did not realize I ordered more of these. I'm gonna check my receipt because I don't think I did. 
Um, and of course I got my strawberries. These would look a lot better than last time. The last one I got on Wednesday, I got a delivery and they did not look good. I had to throw away like half the package and I contacted Instacart and they actually gave me a credit. So I used that credit today. Um, then I got more of these. These are great with hummus, which again, these fit pretty well. I mean, they're 23 grams of carbs. So I can only have like 10 crackers, which is one serving, but that's okay. That's more than enough. And of course I got my popcorn, which again, it fits and it already has the butter flavor in it. So I don't worry about buttering it, which is great. Hey guys. So I decided since I'm doing 75 hard and have to do two workouts a day, Sunday's technically my rest day through the first form app. I decided to do restorative yoga. Um, many of you in the fitness industry, you know how important it is to take care of your body, not just in the gym, but before and after a workout, including stretching, um, alongside hydration, good diet, etc. I decided to do this yoga because my body has needed it for a while. Um, I usually stretch before every workout. I do not always stretch after. I'm really bad about that. I'm trying to get better. And this is definitely something I can do more of after every workout. Um, as you get older too, you lose flexibility. So being in my 30s, my flexibility is way down. I'm not nearly as flexible as I was in high school. And that's going to change. So I am doing, I did this uh, YouTube tutorial. I will link it in the description box below, but it was so worth it. It was a like 15, 20 minutes of this session. Um, and the girl just took her time. We, she walked us through each move slowly. We started in child's pose, which I did not record here for some reason. I don't know what happened. I thought I recorded it, but it's, it was so nice to just take time and focus on my breath and stay in the present moment not worry about work, not worry about other stuff going on, including how am I going to get all this vlog stuff edited. <laughs> but it just felt so good to just take some time for my body and let my body breathe, literally and figuratively, let it breathe. I will say this is the move right here. This massages the sacrum, just moving your legs, your knees in a clockwise motion. This really felt great after when I was doing other stretches, like moving my, crossing my leg over my body, like right here, I felt some pops, which was nice. So you just feel the vertebrae was letting go. It was releasing tension, pressure on my body and my back. Um, I deal with back issues. So this was, again, this was much needed. On that note, I'm going to wrap up this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, like it, share it, comment. And like I said, I'll post the link to the other yoga session I found in the description box below. You guys have a wonderful Sunday. And I'll see you later. Bye.